Hello everyone and welcome. So today we're gonna look at some very interesting, um, very small, I wouldn't say battle packs, but some pretty unique things from the Knights Castle Service from Light, and they look really good if you like castles and building blocks and this kind of stuff. You're certainly gonna like it. So they look really well and I guess they often deserve a real review. Talking about all the good and bad points about these um, about these specific sets from the Knights Castle Series from Lightning. And I guess there is a lot of to be told. So let's check it out one by one. I'm gonna talk about one, uh, 1005. No, sorry. So I will be talking about 1006, 1007, and 1008. So here is all of them. And now let's see. So I shall be talking actually um, about three of these sets, which is the 1006, this one, 1007, and 1008. So these three, um, you can actually buy uh, all of them and kind of uh, assemble your personal and custom battle pack. So we're gonna start with the one that I most like it, which is Ballista. It is the 1006 set from Lightning from the Nice Castle series with just 27 pieces for ages 6 and plus. And here is the guy. And it is very, very, I was surprised because the product, it really matches what it was promising. So as you can see, the instructions are really good. They are, they all make sense and are really easy to understand. And you see everything, how to assemble your camper, your, um, your ballista as well, so it's very good, uh, very simple, there is nothing uh, really to say as an extra here, it's all clear, all good here. But talking about uh, this guy over here, so this one, this um, soldier that you get with this set, it's really good in my opinion. Um, I will try to zoom in with this, so wait a second, yeah. So as you can see, uh, in my opinion, it's really well done. His face, his torso, there is nothing really um, printed on his arms or legs, but he got this cool looking spear, which has even this, um, I don't really know the name of it, but it's, uh, it, it looks really well. It's an extra that makes your spear, like a, I don't know, a royal spear, a better spear, right? Uh, different from just a crude spear without anything. So these things, which tends to recreate some sort of four, I don't know, it looks really good. I mean, that looks really realistic, really authentic for a medieval set. So that's very good. And the result of the, his Helmet got this, which is um, removable, and you can insert in other parts, but it's just simply good. Um, I really loved this set, and I'm gonna talk not only about this guy over here, I'm gonna talk also about that, because that's amazing, in my opinion. Why? Well, Ballista, it's, I believe that it is looks really like how it should be about a Ballista. I was actually thinking about another medieval, something that I saw from a video game, which is Quero Ballista. I don't know if there's a, a thing, but I, I really re it really remind me about that, but I guess it's good, it's pretty um, pretty okay for Ballista. I guess it really fulfills what it is intended to do. And not only that, it is a good set to buy more than one if you're expecting to build an armory, if you really want to do a big mock or want to have a new soldier for your castle. Because why? Because with this, you get two shields you get three arbalests or crossbows, I guess it would be a crossbow here. And also you have this cool looking um, wheels over here, so they look really well. So that's amazing, and it's, um, the playability factor here, it's great. I mean, it's really awesome and you can play really well, it makes sense. And you can connect here your the hand of your uh, soldier, and with this, voila. So here is, you got this, and you can shoot your ballista, you can actually aim with this. In my opinion, a great, great set, a good price, so you definitely should buy it if you have the opportunity. Really good, I recommend, and it's 
perfect, especially if you really like the castle series. If you really want to have a good castle or more soldiers or build your armory or do any other kind of, of builds, even if you need some extra wheels, I really recommend this. So that's an A plus set. Um, I can, uh, out of one to five, I can give five for design, I can give five for playability. Uh, what else can I? Yes, I guess instructions, it really makes sense. There is just one small um, comment that I have about this set, but I'm going to talk about it later. So let's proceed for the next one. The, another one which was good, but this one was my favorite, but the other one which is 1007 set. Let's... So this other set is the 1007. The name is Dingy. I believe that it means something in Chinese, just like a boat, I don't know. So let me know in the comments if you know what means dinghy. But this guy over here, he doesn't have these ornaments in his helmet, which is bad, but I guess it's okay because still it's a really nice looking helmet anyway. He got an oar, he got also a sword, and yeah, that's a pretty pretty nice. And his torso, it's look, it's really good. I mean, these um, having these characters in the uh, sets they really make sense and they are really good and um, in my opinion the design of it is very unique I don't really remember about any other building block company having it um, it identical as it but it's pretty awesome in my opinion really good um, but it's very basic nothing the back or uh, nothing the legs nothing the arms but it's good on um, the face I didn't like the other one the the last one, 2006, had got a much better face, but still, it's a it's a face, so I cannot really complain about this guy. But it's okay. Um, that's how it should be um, a guy who is responsible for a boat. And not only that, we got here um, about the treasure that these set got. So that's something good. So it makes the set much better, in my opinion. You got two jewelry. I guess it would be an emerald and also a ruby. But also you got some gold treasure. So let's see. Yeah. So there is the golden coins. And I also got this thing. I like to conserve it because it looks like a, a giant coin. I don't know, a big piece of gold. And you can actually insert it insert in, inside your barrel. So you can put this. But there is a problem with this, which is something that I don't really like about the this set overall. So if you try to close it, um, you won't so that's really bad so I tried to do that and as you can see it just yeah it's not gonna be well you you need to basically smash all your stuff over here so even if you try to um, insert in a different more creative way it's not gonna work so really bad in my opinion this part um, the boat itself it's okay I guess there is a flag there is a lamp, so pretty fine. And as you can see, and turning it, it's good. But there is one thing about the pieces made um, in some lighting sets. So this thing right here, it means that you need to take care with also your inserting piece on your your flag piece over here. Really take care when you are doing it because when you insert it on this pole. Uh, it might um, be a lot of, how can I say that, it'll be way too much for this piece. So that's something that I pay attention about, some building blocks, friends. And this one, if you really want to connect it, you, sh you should do that. You should do slide it. I'm going to show it. Well, I, I, that's a bad angle to pick up this, but um, trust me, it's good. It's worked real well. There was this little bit um, damage over here, but I guess it'll be okay. Um, just really pay attention because the flag looks really awesome, so I don't want to lose it. It's really cool. And also, you're, when you're dealing with this brand, try to insert yourself this way. Do, do not connect, alright? So, with the swords, also, you should do that. Um, it, they are much easier to, uh, to insert in the hands of your characters, actually, but pay attention to it and take care of your building blocks. So really good, the barrel is okay. I would do something else in this case, because as you can see, he's a red guy and the boat is all blue. And there is another blue faction in the collection of Enlightened, so I would rather use a blue guy over here. 
instead of red ones. Or actually, I would make this color match with the color of their um, of their uniforms. So that was a little bit weird for me, but I don't know. That's okay. But still, it's a great bolt. I guess it functions very well, and it can be good for your set for a box that you're doing some kind of building, or if you just want to have fun, it's a good gift. It's a good uh, option, in my opinion. And the grades for the 1007 would be playability. I would give 4.5 because well, it's. I don't know it's good, but the fact that you cannot even put your jewelry all in, inside of this barrel is not that good. And the way that are to, uh, these characters over here, the soldiers, they do not connect really well. Um, so yeah, playability on 4.5, I guess it's a little bit low, 4.8 is better, 4.7. Because it's not really bad, but it could be much better if they had a, a bigger barrel or I don't know. But yeah. So about instructions, I guess it's five, it's good. And the design itself, whoa, that's where it also gets a, 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 a four. I guess it would be a four. I don't really think that the design was well taught. Yeah, I would put four. Maybe a little bit too high, uh, I don't know. It's a good price, so I cannot put much, but the design uh, just by matching the colors would be better and having a uh, better barrel because this thing is actually affecting playability. So I would go by four because it's overall a good deal, um, really good to have these extra pieces if you're planning on building up another thing. So let's move on for the next one, which is 1008, the burning car. Now let's go to the last. Well, I, this one, I believe that there is a tie among the dinghy and the burning card, and I'm gonna explain why. But overall, I guess that the burning card gets the cake and probably should be in the second place because it's really good. So here he is, and this soldier looks really good. It's the another faction, the blue faction of the Mighty Castle series. So in my opinion, really good. His face really good, but very simple design. Not really to complain, but there is this waiver over here, and I believe that this waiver is totally misplaced, which is really a big letdown because they couldn't really simply use this quaver and give it to the another one on ballista because he's actually on ballista, so he needs a quaver to put the bolts over it or arrows. Well, usually it's bolts since it's a crossbow, but anyway. But this is very bad because the quiver makes no sense. This character, he he has no ranged weapon or whatsoever. The burning card itself is really good, so the wheels are really good. So playability, it's a it's a five year. <laughs> I gotta spoil the results. There is this good, a very good flag, which is pure, which is okay. I guess it's great. And this sword as a scimitar which is sim uh, similar to the another character on the dinghy. This sword as a uh, really looks like a scimitar. I don't know if it really qualifies as one, but it's a good one. I have no complaints. There is this small bit here of plastic, a little bit pointy plastic over here, but no, no problem about that. The building of the burning cart is actually good. I believe it's even more designed. Uh, the design of it's even better than compared to the to the what we got in the ballista, for example, it's more um, robust and it has 27 pieces. So really good design. They did a lot of it with so little. I guess it's really good. So you can have a lot of with playability. It's a five, but I would say that although I really love the design of it, the burning card is five. I need to give actually a 4.5 regarding the design overall of this set. So about this we got a 5 playability, it's a lot of fun, I don't have any problem with this, but the design is just a little bit off, so it's a 4. It's not really good. And as the instructions there is nothing really to say yet, it's uh, really, I want to say that, it's really straightforward. You can look at this thing and then you simply can um, understand how you should assemble the pieces. So, really good. I'm gonna show off a little bit more about this. Um, and it's really good. I, uh, for a second, thought they could switch it, the quiver, with the another set. But as you can see, it is intended to be this way. 
which is a shame because <laughs> it would be much better. For this set, it doesn't really make any sense, but the instructions overall on this set are really good, so it's a 5. But I guess this is it. So, as you can see, so here is my podium. Um, this one should be the first one. The ballista guy, really cool. And the second one will be the burning card, a really good piece, a lot of uh, a really good set with a lot of pieces. And then we have the dinghy, which comes in third, but very closely. But yeah, it was a little bit off. It was way, way too much faults. And there is one thing about these enlightened sets. It's about the legs, especially. Well, when you are assembling, you need to use a lot of strength with this. Uh, uh, small little soldiers. They, you're gonna need to use a lot of your strength of it because they do not look really. Um, it's not very easy to, uh, for example, pull out it. It demands a lot of uh, strength to assemble it, and it's also very hard to. Overall, it is a good call to buy these sets. So the figures, you need to expend some extra effort by connecting it, especially the hands. The hands are really difficult, so um, pay attention to it and be re really careful when doing it. But I really recommend, because in the worst case scenario, you got some cool extra pieces, along with some with extra and very useful medieval weapons. So it's a good call, I guess. All three are good. I like the more the Ballista than the Burning Cart and third the Dinghy. But I like, uh, they are valid, there are some flaws in the design, which I hope that in the future will be better. That's it for today, and what do you think? Let me know in the comments what is your opinion.